This is going to be a training about Autocrat, which is an extension or add-on within Google Sheets to automatically create documents and files based on information that's inputted into Sheets. So let's check out how this works. So within Autocrat, our first step is going to be creating a Drive folder. I'm going to head over to My Drive, and there are a couple places to think about Autocrat files. That is My Drive and Share Drives, and it does not work really great in your Share Drives. But if you are creating a folder where you're going to have all of the different files dump into, definitely go to My Drive go to new and create a folder there. The other place that you want to have all of your files located is within a folder where you can put all of your templates. So in this case, I have some templates which can be created in slides, docs, or sheets. And I'm going to be using a Google form this time, which outputs to the Google sheet we're running Autocrat on. I like to keep all of those in the same folder, which is this guy. Now that we have created our folder, let's talk about creating templates. Now, I just recently said that you can create templates using slides, docs, or sheets, but all of the same premise holds true, and here's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and open a timesheet for automatically inputting information. Here are all of the boxes where we're going to want to have that data inputted in. You're going to want to name them and put them in these sort of alligator brackets. I, I taught fourth grade for years, so this is the alligator that is greater than or less than. So I'm just gonna run with the alligator analogy. Here we go. Now here's my biggest piece of advice for Autocrat is when you are making these tags, later on when we run Autocrat in our sheet, it's gonna wanna automatically pull these tags for you. So for sure name them something you know that you are going to remember. So in this case, the accounting unit, I want to make sure that that I keep that as unit activity. I want that activity number to go here. Now, the other thing that's very important is try not to have tags named the same thing with different information. You can use a tag twice. It's just going to pull that same information. So if I wanted to put name here, and let's say I went down to the bottom and wanted to put name here, but you cannot name the headers the same exact thing and have different information come out. Now I'm going to show you a couple more different templates. I have created one in a Google Doc it's configured here in a table. And so you don't have to have just one word. You can have a longer description for each one of those. The other thing here is in a Google slide deck, I've created a template here where you can change the font color, font size, and it will automatically create the output using that same font color or size. Now, once I've created my templates, let's talk about how you can use a Google form to get information to match up to each of those different tags that are within your templates. I've gone ahead and created a Google form. I want to make sure that this is automatically collecting emails, especially if you are going to be using Autocrat to automatically send out in the form of an email. Now, here's my biggest advice. If you want to keep your headers small and distinguishable, go ahead and only put in necessary information here. So in this case, I'm, I'm going to be collecting employee name. Now, if you notice, there are some descriptions here that are very long and specific about what we want the people who fill out this form to do. I did not put this all up here on the question type information. I put it instead underneath as a description. If you're not sure how to do that, you just go down to three, these three dots right here in the corner and add a description. Then you can just keep your headers clean by just adding this here. If you have anything that you need to match up on your Google Sheet, the best way to keep your data clean and exact is to create a question in a drop down format. Now, once you've created this, I'm going to go here to responses and you're going to want to go to view in sheets. If you've already created a sheet, it'll say view in sheets, but you might want to create a brand new sheet or you can add this to an existing sheet. What's going to happen now is you're going to notice that each of those question types are going to be the headers that are going to be pulled into my Autocrat information. 
So now that we have our folder created and we have set up our templates, and in this case, we're choosing to use a Google form, we are ready to run AutoCrat within our Google Sheet. You don't have to just use these headers that were pulled from the Google form. Anything here that is pulled in pink were ones that I added that were extra. And those are gonna go over here to match that information that's up here on the top. So it doesn't have to just be information that is pulled from the form. You can have a hybrid of two different things. I'm gonna go here to extensions. In APS, you should have AutoCRAT automatically pushed out. If you don't have AutoCRAT pushed out, go ahead and go to add-ons, get add-ons, and search for AutoCRAT right here. Our should hopefully already be here for AutoCRAT, so I'm going to select AutoCRAT and launch that. It's going to open out in a brand new window. And the first time we run AutoCRAT, we're going to want to select new job. We're going to want to give our job a title, like this one we've already used before, and we're going to go to next to step two. This is where I had mentioned creating that template was really important to do before you run AutoCRAT because it's going to pull that recently used templates. I know this is the one I want and I'm going to use this template. It's going to take a moment to pull all of those tags within the template. It's on step two, go next. And now essentially what we're going to be doing is mapping our source data to that template using those tags. We're going to be using form response one, header row one, and actually my first data is gonna actually be the third row here when I merge it all together. To be different things that are going to be able to be linked, a standard link, a hyperlink, an image, or even a checkbox. But in this case, I'm gonna keep it standard. And when I have this tag CO, it's pulling that tag from this template. So it's basically asking me, what do you want to put here where it says CO? So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and this is going to match any of the headers that are here on the sheet in the background. So in this case, I know that CO means company unit is going to be account unit. And that's why I said it's really good to try and match up those headers here in those templates. Now, if you match them exactly, AutoCRAT will automatically pull those for you. So I'm just going to finish filling this out really fast. And if you notice on these last ones, they don't even need to match exactly. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And this is going to be the file settings. The file settings are going to be how those documents are going to be pulled out into the folder once the merge happens. Now, what's very important with the file name is you can name each of these files individually, but you're going to want to use tags that are in this blue space right here. I'm going to select this arrow. And in this case, I want it to start with employee name. I'm going to click it once to copy that to my clipboard go here and then I'm going to do command or control V and then I can put the employee name timesheet. I'm going to call it autocrat exemplar so I don't get it confused with real ones that we run. You're going to choose how you want that output to be pulled into that folder. So I want all of these to be pulled out as a PDF. And do I want them to be multiple output modes where each person gets their own individual one? Single output mode where you can print the entire thing. I'm going to select multiple output mode. Hit next. And then this is where you're going to choose that folder we made at the beginning. And hopefully it should pull up the most recent one here at the top. Come into. So I selected that. Go all the way down to the bottom. Select it and it's going to be the one that is in my drive. Hit next. Dynamic folder options are if you want a file to go into different folders and they're going to have to contain a valid folder ID when this happens. I'll create a separate video for that if you're ever interested, but this is completely optional. I would say if you're running AutoCRAT for the first time, go ahead and skip this part. Setting merge conditions is also optional, but merge conditions say don't have AutoCRAT run unless you have specific information added to 
the spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and add a condition in this case, and I want to make sure that one of the first boxes that is not automatically filled in with a Google form is going to say not null. I want to make sure that those are not empty. I don't want Autocrat to run with that being blank, so I'm going to hit next. And then sharing docs and sending emails. You can choose not to share the docs. That means that it's just going to run Autocrat within your drive where you have the copies. Or you can choose to have Autocrat create emails for you using a template in the same tags that you have within your Google Sheet. I'm going to go ahead and share this document to show you how it's done. I can have the output of the file be something different. I don't want them to be allowed to share this to other people, and I don't want it to come from a generic email address. I want it to come from me. When I mentioned earlier, make sure you collect email addresses. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to select email address and copy it like I did before, and then use Command V to paste it over. This way, it's pulling any email addresses here in the Google Sheet, and it will automatically email out to whatever email address is collected within that Google form. You can add a subject. So I'm just going to freeze and fill this in really fast. Creating that template that I'm going to be sending to each person. You can pull out that information here by copying and pasting within the template itself. I'm going to go to next. Autocrack can run three different ways. You can run it on a form trigger, but that means it has to pull information from a Google form. I'm going to run it this way and I'm going to have to enable it the first time. I can run it on a time trigger. If I decide to do that, then it will run it um, and you can select either every hour or once a week or 12 hours and it can go ahead and say no to both of them and then run the trigger manually. And I'll show you where that lives after we run this Autocrat job. Once I'm finally done with this, I'm going to save it. And now I have Autocrat all set up in my spreadsheet. So now let's see what that looks like. So now that Autocrat is all set up on my Google spreadsheet, here's what we named it. And I can hit play to manually run the job, or it can run once I submit a Google Forms response. So now that we have run Autocrat, let's look at accessing all of those merged files. One of the first places to look is within the Google Sheet itself, and there's going to be a merge doc ID, a merge doc URL, a link to the actual merge doc, and a document merge status. So if we go over here to our Google Sheet, you are going to notice on the very far right, it will have those automatic columns, and then there's a link to the URL if you want to send it out to anybody right away. And then you also have a link to the actual sheet wherever that may exist in your drive. So knowing that, let's go over to our drive as well. And you will notice that in that folder that you had created, you're going to have a version of each one of those time sheets filled out folder. So now we have that information and all the units as well as the information that the teachers put on that Google form. Let's see what the recipients receive in their email. So since I used my Gmail, I'm going to go here and open that up. And here is that email template that was generated and I have the attachment of that PDF for my own use. And in closing, Autocrat can be used for so many great, awesome ideas. Make sure that you reach out to us if you have any more questions, and thank you for joining me on this training today. Hopefully it was helpful.